welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing to you our brand new dye, Happy Mushrooms. This dye set is one of my favorites I think of all time. These little mushrooms are so cute, so let's go ahead and check it out. Here you can see all the dyes that it comes with. It has two different size mushrooms and the back for the mushroom to fill in all of the little holes. We have two size stems and some really cute greenery that are great for setting the scene for the mushrooms and some rocks that set the scene too. And then we have three different styles of smiley faces and little rosy cheeks that you can add to the mushrooms or not. And to add those to the mushrooms, you just line them up right there, hold them in place with some low tack tape, and then you can do it on the little one too, of course. I like that there's different size faces and then run it through the die cut machine and you'll see that you have these cute little cut out smiley faces onto these mushrooms. It is just the most adorable thing. And here is a look at the three different styles of faces. Now it's time to put these super cute mushrooms together. And to add some color behind the eyes, we're gonna take some black licorice cardstock, just a little scrap piece, and layer it right behind there. And then you can just trim off any of the excess that might be sticking out from behind the mushroom. Another way to do this, you could take some black marker and just scribble it onto that little plain base that we have there, and the black marker could peek out through. So either way looks awesome, just kind of depends on your personal preference. And now that we have all of these cute little faces, we're going to go ahead and flip it over again and add some more adhesive, and now we can layer it over the base. And we've die cut the base from some vanilla malt cardstock, which gives a really nice kind of soft look to the little detailing on the mushrooms. And then you can do the same thing with your smaller mushrooms and you'll see as it fills in the little details and designs at the top of the mushroom, they just look so cute. Then here are the two different size stems. So we're gonna layer the larger one behind the larger mushroom and of course the smaller one behind the smaller mushroom. And how cute are these mushrooms looking at each other? I just can't with how adorable they are. Then these are some rosy cheeks that you can add or not. The rosy cheeks are just adorable. There's something about it that just makes me smile and laugh every time I see it. And then you can play around with the cute little accessories. So the little rocks that you can layer in front or the greenery behind. And once you start layering all of these, it just makes these cute scenes come to life. I just think they're so sweet. I love that the mushrooms are great on cards on their own. And then they're also great as background for cute critters like the porcupines. And right now we're gonna start creating a card that features the mushrooms. And so we're gonna die cut the large and small mushrooms out of some white cardstock. And we're gonna actually add color to these mushrooms with some inking. So the first one, I'm going to do the traditional red with some lobster ink. And what I'm gonna do is keep it really light towards the center and then darker towards the outside edges. So I'm doing a really light kind of dusting of color first. And then you'll see that I'm just picking up the color and building it up and up on the outside edges. And right now I am recreating a card by Callie. So thank you so much, Callie, for this gorgeous card. So there you can see what that little mushroom's looking like, and I love the kind of lightness towards the center where we're gonna add his face, and you can see what it's gonna look like when we layer the piece of cardstock behind it. And now we're gonna work on some unique colored mushrooms. So for this one, we're gonna use grape soda to create a purple mushroom, and that's what I really like about these mushrooms, is it's fun in the traditional red, but it's also really fun to just make them kind of crazy colors. I just think it's adorable. And so the same thing, we're gonna keep it light towards the center and darker towards the outside edges, and you'll see that that gives it almost like a I think it looks so pretty. And then for our last mushroom, we're going to be using some peacock ink. And so with the peacock ink, again, the same thing. We're starting with white cardstock. We're going to do a light dusting of color across the whole thing. And then we're going to build the color on the outside edges, leaving that center a little bit lighter so that it gives it almost like a cool glow. Now to make sure that everything coordinates really nicely, we're gonna go ahead and ink all of the other little pieces too. So here we have these stems, which was cut out of vanilla malt cardstock, and I'm just gonna use antique linen distress ink on the edge just a little bit to create that kind of, a little bit of inking and almost like they look a little dirty, right? And then with the rocks here, we've die cut them out of some storm cog cardstock and some dolphin cardstock, and we're just gonna ink the edge of these with a light gray for the lighter rocks and then with black for the darker rocks. Once again, just giving it that nice kind of look that just makes it feel a little special and also is gonna help it coordinate with our cute little mushrooms. Now we're gonna to start to layer these mushrooms the way that we did before. But in this case, I'm gonna show you a little bit of a different way to add the faces on. So I'm gonna layer all of these onto the vanilla malt bases there, and you can see that starts to add color to the top detailing of the mushrooms. And then we can start to layer, of course, all of the stems on as well. And these just are so cute. And I love that they're so cute with or without the smiley faces, just depending on what look you're going for on your card, because this is just gorgeous like this. And then of course, they're gonna be really, really cute with the smiley faces too. 
And so what I did is I went ahead and die cut all of those different styles of smiley face from some black licorice cardstock. And we're gonna layer the little individual pieces on top of the mushrooms. This is a little bit more finicky than just die cutting them from the mushrooms, but it's just a different look because it'll have kind of like the three dimension of the cardstock sitting on top of the mushroom. So I just wanted to show you different ways that you can layer these on. And so what I do is I take the tiny pieces and I just layer little bits of glue. I actually take a little bit of glue on the tip of my scissors and then layer it on the back of the little tiny piece and layer them on. You could also die cut them with some double-sided adhesive sheets and it would be like little stickers, which would be really cute and easy too. And you'll see we're just gonna layer these little smiley faces on. And I mean, look at this. Is this not just the cutest thing you've ever seen? And now once we have that all layered on, we're gonna take out a white gel pen and just add some little details to these. So we're adding some little dots onto the rocks uh, just to give them kind of a little bit of extra detail. And then we're just gonna add some little curved lines and little dots onto the mushrooms to give them that really fun kind of three-dimensional look. And doesn't that look just so sweet? Oh, I just love it so much. Now we're gonna set our mushrooms aside and start working on the scene. So right now we're gonna use the largest of the outside in stitched rectangles and we're gonna be die cutting a piece of white cardstock and we're gonna be stenciling with my favorite stencil which is the cloudy stencil. Cloudy stencil has four different styles of clouds and so we're gonna start with one of them and we're gonna start on the cloud and move off with some merman ink which is my favorite color of ink to do for clouds and you'll see we're just gonna do a really light color there moving on to the cardstock leaving the top of it white and you'll see when we move the stencil away it's gonna create the most gorgeous cloud shape. Then we'll shift to a different side of the stencil, shift it down and build up the color in the same way. See, twist the stencil, build the color in the same way. And you can put the clouds at any angle, just kind of playing around, seeing what's gonna look prettiest on your card. And look at that sky. Oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. So we're gonna put that aside and we're gonna start working on our grass. So we die cut a piece of cardstock with the same size rectangle. And now we're gonna take out two different grassy hillsides. So this is a simple grassy hillside. And then we're actually just gonna flip the paper over and use the rest of that piece of paper. And we're gonna use one of the original grassy hillsides on there. And we'll hold them both in place with some low tack tape. And then we can run that through the die cut machine. And by doing this, we're gonna have that stitching detail on both of the pieces, but we were able to use almost all of our cardstock, which is really great too. Then we're gonna do some inking on these grassy pieces so that it coordinates with all the other inking that we've done on all of our other pieces for this card. So we're gonna add some freshly cut grass ink at the top of this cardstock and we're just gonna kinda of let it fade out into nothing at the end. So you'll see here we're gonna have the uh, green there and then we're just gonna kinda of let it fade lighter and lighter towards the bottom until there's actually just white at the bottom. And that's gonna be the area that we're gonna stamp our sentiment in. And we're gonna to go to an oldie buddy goodie stamp set, this O Gnome stamp set, it has I have so much room in my heart for you and that sentiment is just so cute the pun is too good we just had to use it with these awesome mushrooms so we're gonna line this whole sentiment up pick it up with the door of the misty ink it up with some black licorice ink and then we can press down and hold that in place and then we're gonna go ahead and lift up the door of the misty and now we have our sentiment right there now the mushrooms would look so cute in this scene, but we thought it would be fun to add some extra greenery. So we're gonna die cut the greenery from the Happy Mushroom set out of some Noble Fur and Cilantro cardstocks. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some inking to the edges of these. So we're starting with a color of cardstock, but still adding a little bit of inking so that it coordinates with all of the rest of the inking that we've done. So we're gonna take out some jalapeno ink and we're just gonna ink that over top of these beautiful kind of greenery leaves. I think I'm gonna be using these on so many different cards. And you'll see as we ink the edges it almost looks like the whole thing was ink blended which is really really cool then we're going to take out a darker color ink for the noble fur pieces we're actually going to take out the noble fur ink and we're just going to ink the edges of these once again to give it that ink blended look but quick and easy by starting off with a piece of colored cardstock once these are all done, we can start to put together our whole scene. So we're gonna take out those grassy pieces that we inked earlier and we're gonna layer those two together. And then we can start tucking in the mushrooms and the greenery pieces to help create the scene. And look at these little mushrooms, like they just make me smile so much, they're just so cute. And so we're gonna go ahead and just start layering all these little pieces. We have the rocks, we have all the leaves and the mushrooms, of course. And we're gonna start off with the largest mushroom in the center. And then we're gonna be layering the greenery pieces both behind and a little bit in front of the mushrooms to really give great dimension. 
The other thing that's really great about these greenery pieces is that you can trim them almost like you were pruning flowers, right? You can trim it to be the perfect size to fit on your card. And so we're going to trim that one down and just tuck that behind the grass and also behind the purple mushroom. And we're just going to keep layering these pieces and add our turquoise mushroom there right in the front. And this is just looking so cute and sweet. And you can see how you can just kind of keep layering things on, trimming down your greenery pieces so that they're all the perfect length to create this really gorgeous scene. Then once we've added all of the greenery, we can go ahead and start adding the rocks in as well. And the rocks are really great because they add kind of a nice grounding to the ground. And I feel like they kind of help incorporate the whole scene down towards the sentiment that we stamped earlier. Now that our whole scene is created, we can work on the card base. So we're going to take out some of this sprinkle and shine paper that has this really great red and white stripe. And we're going to be adding that onto a standard size card base that's five and a half by four and a quarter. For Callie's card, she used a white base, a white frame around her whole scene, which was so gorgeous. And we thought that we'd kind of make it a little more bold and use a red and white stripe. So I love that you can play around with different designs and get totally different looks just by changing the pattern paper that you add to the base of your card. And so now we've got this super cute card all done. I love it so much. And next up, Shari is going to take you through two cards that are oh so cute. So take it away, Shari. So I am creating a slimline card today with the happy mushrooms, making a rainbow of mushrooms across my card. I have guava, raspberry, fake tan, sunflower, cilantro, peacock, and sugar plum for the colors of my mushrooms. So I'll be cutting all the caps out of that and all the backs out of some speckled eggshell cardstock. I'll use the speckled eggshell for the stems as well. So I've cut all my pieces here and I will start by layering that speckled eggshell solid piece behind the colored piece. And I'm just starting with my largest mushrooms first. And then I will move on to the small ones and I'm just using liquid glue to layer these two pieces of cardstock together. Once I have all of my mushroom caps layered together, then I will go ahead and add the stems. And of course there are big stems and little stems in this die set. So I'm pulling out those big stems first. I'll just add a little bit of liquid glue to the top of each one and just pop those little caps on there. I am trying to kind of turn them a little bit based on the direction that they're going to go on my little hill that will be on my card. So that's sort of why I'm keeping all of my mushrooms in the order that they will be on the card so I can kind of see which is a good way to tilt those caps if I want to. Now I can work on the background of my card using some blue and green spiffy speckles paper. This is cut with the large slimline stitched rectangle and then I will use the slimline simple hillside border to cut the green so that I have a green hill for my mushrooms to sit on. I'll just use a piece of removable tape to hold this in place while I run this through my die cut machine. Now I did want to define the top edge a little bit against that blue spiffy speckled sky. So I'm using some freshly cut grass ink and a blending brush just to add a little bit of dark green to the top of the hill. It'll make that stitching detail stand out and will also make it stand out against that blue spiffy speckled sky. Now I can add some adhesive to the back of this little hill and just line this up along the bottom of that spiffy speckles blue rectangle so we have this cute little hill and that blue speckly sky. I do want to go ahead and add this to a slimline card base. This card base is eight and a half inches long by three and a half inches tall. Now I'm ready to add all of my mushrooms to my card. I've already laid them out where I want them to be and I'm starting with this mushroom in the center. I will be using some thin foam squares for all of the large mushrooms and some regular thickness foam squares for all of the small mushrooms so that I have some difference in dimension between the two. I use the thin ones for the large ones and the regular thickness for the small ones because the small ones will overlap the large ones in the front. And I just need to make sure that I don't put my foam where they'll overlap and this will end up super cute and perfect. So I've gone ahead and put that guava mushroom and then the fake tan. Then I'll move on to that other large mushroom, which is the one cut out of peacock cardstock. I'll add this in there. 
and then I can add my foam to the back of my other two small mushrooms and add those to my card. And luckily these don't overlap too much just at the tippy top of the cap. Now for my sentiment, I am using the Big Scripty Words stamp set and I'm using this sentiment that says Big Hugs. I am going to white emboss this on a piece of narwhal cardstock. So I'll just pick this up with my block. I've already prepped my cardstock with my anti-static powder tool. So now I can stamp with some clear embossing ink and add my white embossing powder to that sticky ink. I'll tap off all the excess and then I can bring my heat tool that's already warmed up a little bit to my paper. I like to heat it up on the back a little bit first and then bring it to the front, melt that white embossing powder and make sure I have a nice bright white sentiment. Then I can use the coordinating dies for big scripty words and die cut out this sentiment so I get that perfectly cut sentiment. I'll just line that up, hold it in place with some removable tape and run it through my die cut machine. I am layering this over my stems of my mushrooms so I cut a second die cut just to layer the two together so that my sentiment was a little bit thicker and more sturdy. I'll just put a block on it for a minute while that glue kind of sets and then I'll be ready to add it to my mushrooms. So you can see here how I am putting that just where it's gonna to touch those two mushroom stems of those small mushrooms. So I only need glue on the B and the G. And then I'll just pop that right into place on that orange and green mushroom. Now I did decide after the fact that I wanted to add some smiling faces to a few of these mushrooms. So I'll just be adding them to the large mushrooms. You can cut this out ahead of time, but since I didn't decide to last minute, I'll be adding these to the fronts of the mushrooms. I cut them from some storm cloud cardstock. And I know these pieces are really small and I have a little dot of glue on that paper over there. And I'm just kind of dabbing these pieces into that glue and then dropping them into place. The liquid glue does let me kind of move them around until I get the placement right. And then for these other two, I'm doing the same thing with their mouths. But then since the eye is just a dot, I'm just adding a tiny dot of glue and I'll pick those up and drop them into place. And I just think that that's so cute adding those smiley faces. I have some gold glitter hearts that I cut with the Hearts and Stars skinny tag dye from some gold glitter paper. And I've just added those embellishments around my mushrooms. And then finally, I'm taking my Stardust stickles and adding a little bit of glitter just to the tops of all the mushroom caps because I think that it makes it have some like magical fairy dust look to have these stickles shining on the top of the mushrooms. I did also go through and just add a little line of stickles down the left side of each of the stems as well because you can't ever have too much glitter on a card. And here's my finished card with those super cute rainbow mushrooms. I think that this turned out just so adorable and I love all those colors. So I'm pairing up the spooky forest backdrop with my happy mushrooms for today's card. And I just wanted to show you that a spooky forest does not always have to be spooky. I am cutting this from some of the light brown wood grain cardstock. So I have that really fun wood grain texture going on. And then I will cut a piece of blue watercolor wishes paper to be my sky that goes behind my trees. So I've just cut this to four and a quarter by five and a half so it will fit perfectly behind my trees. And then I'm taking the largest stitch rectangle stackable and I'm cutting a piece of green spiffy speckles paper so that I have a nice stitching detail along the bottom and up the sides. This is going to be my ground for my little scene that I create. I'm using the simple grassy hillside to cut the top of this so I have a grassy hillside and this is going to layer on the front and cover up the bottom of the spooky forest trees. And when I layer my grass over top of my trees, you can see a little bit of that spooky grass is sticking up a little bit. So I'll just trim that off with my scissors because I don't need those parts of this backdrop. 
I'm adding a little bit of inking to the grass blades. So I'm using freshly cut grass to do this and a blending brush. And this will just help that stand out a little bit more against the sky. Now for my mushrooms, I've cut a raspberry mushroom cap and a guava. And then I use some ballet slipper cardstock for the part that will layer behind. So I have some light pink spots on my pink mushrooms. I'm just layering these two pieces together with some liquid glue. And then I will add the little mushroom stems as well. And the mushroom stems are cut from some speckled eggshell cardstock. And I just think these little mushrooms are just so cute and they're gonna look great in the forest scene. Now I also have a bunch of the ferns from that die set cut from different colors of cardstock. And I also want to go ahead and add my sentiment to my grass before I assemble anything. I'm using the sentiment from the Porcupine For You stamp set that says thank you so mush, which I think goes perfectly with these giant mushrooms. And now that I have this sentiment stamped, I can start to assemble all my pieces of my card. So first I'm adding that piece of watercolor wishes paper to my card base. Then I will add my spooky forest with some liquid glue. You can see I went around all four sides and a few of those branches. So this will be held in place nicely. And then I can add my grass. So I've laid my mushrooms where I want them to be and now I'm taking all those ferns that I had cut out out of the different colors of cardstock. I have cilantro, peacock, and noble fir and I'm just putting them on each side kind of where I think they might go. As you can see I've not glued down my mushrooms just yet so that I can tuck these ferns in behind. And I just like the variety of colors that the different colors of cardstock give you. I'll take this dark one here and tuck it in between the two mushrooms, which I think fills it in really nicely. Makes it look like a forest floor full of ferns and mushrooms. And then I'll move on to these other pieces on the other side. Now this fern that curves towards the right is a bit longer than the one that cur curves towards the left. So I've just cut off the bottom so I have a shorter one to work with. I don't want it too tall. And I'll do the same with this dark one. I'm cutting off a little bit more, so it's a little bit shorter. This is a really great way to kind of get a few different looks from these dies using the same die. And then I have this little tiny one that is cut from some peacock cardstock that I will just kind of tuck behind this other mushroom. Now I can take the liner paper off of my foam squares on the back of my mushrooms. I use some thin foam squares for the big mushroom and some regular thickness foam squares for the small ones so that I had a little bit different dimension between the two. And I'm just popping these into place. I do want them to kind of overlap a little bit and that's why I was kind of shifting that around. Now I pulled out the O oh Gnome stamp set and colored and cut out this cute little gnome and his little speech bubble. There is also a solid heart in this stamp set and I'm stamping that in guava ink in his little speech bubble. And then I also have that little snail and that is from the Porcupine For You stamp set. But this little gnome looks so cute and fits perfectly sitting on top of this mushroom and I just think that is so cute. So I've added him with some foam as well as his little speech bubble with the heart and then I'll add the little snail too. Now there are dies in the Happy Mushrooms die set that cut some little rocks or stones and I cut these from some narwhal cardstock and I'm just adding those around at the bottom and it kind of gives a nice place for those ferns to kind of pop out from behind. I am using some foam squares to adhere these so that they have some dimension like those mushrooms. And then this last little one, I'm just going to tuck behind that snail, but this hides the bottom of all those ferns really nicely. Now I can go in with my white gel pen and I'm just adding some white highlights to my images 
to those stones, which I think really helps them kind of stand out. And then I'll also add some to my mushroom caps as well. Finally, I need to add some stickles, some glitter, because this is clearly a magical forest with giant mushrooms and gnomes. So I'm adding it to the branches of the trees to make them look a bit more magical. The mushroom caps, the stones, the snail, and a little bit on my gnome's hat. And I also added a few little dots to the ferns as well, because everything in this forest is magical, so everything has glitter and sparkle. And here is my finished card, and I just think it turned out super cute. I actually really love those spooky trees in the background. I think they would be super cute cut from other colors as well. This card is so cute and I love how you brought in the spooky forest and that cute little gnome. It's just adorable. And your rainbow of mushrooms on the slimline card is also just so very sweet. And next up we have some incredible cards by the design team. And first up we have this gorgeous card by Elena. I absolutely love the inking on the mushrooms and the beautiful colors of greens that she used for the background. This card by Grace is so stunning. I love the hot foil background and her gorgeous inking. Here, this card by Melissa just blew me away. I love how she layered it onto the Radiant Heart backdrop and those little mushrooms have so much texture. They're so beautiful. And then this card by Megan is so fun. I love the love ya so much. It's so cute with the little hearts on the mushrooms too. This card here by Audrey is just stunning. I love these rich colors. They're so beautiful. Here, it's so cute to see these mushrooms in a fun little scene by Rebecca. I love that you can add cute critters like the porcupines to these adorable mushrooms. Elena made a ta-da diorama and she featured all of the beautiful greenery and rocks on the front and then when you open up the card you get the cute little mushrooms on the inside and I think this is just so super sweet. I absolutely love the soft colors that Elena used for her mushrooms and the gold buckhard stock coming through on the little details is so beautiful. Here is the card by Callie that inspired us to make ours. I think it's just so gorgeous and I love her bright greens. And then this card by Grace is so fun because she combined the happy mushrooms with our mushroom house and also with Porcupine for You. And it is just the cutest thing ever on this peekaboo backdrop card. And we cannot wait to see all of your happy mushroom cards. So make sure to share them with us. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.